a former professional fitness athlete. I had an accident in 2013. I was a passenger of a vehicle and we went off an embankment. It happened within a split second, literally. And then my life changed tragically. I accepted it right then and there. Before the accident, I was so stressed about life. Everything was just so hectic. Um, even though I became what I wanted to be, I was just, I wasn't happy and I didn't know why. And I had my accident and all of that was gone instantly. I was just at, at peace. My life, like any other athlete, we, we train and we want to become professional. I've trained for many years to get to this point. I've been through a lot prior to that. Not physical, but more emotional and just, I mean, I've lost my parents. I've been conditioned for this, even throughout my training, uh, going through that pain of training. If I didn't feel the pain when I trained, I wasn't satisfied, then I, I literally would be upset. You know, the ego drove you also, the sort of sense of getting what you want, but also going against a little bit this gut feeling. If I didn't have my wife with me either, you know, number one has also brought me through all of this. I tell you what, what I'm going through now is not for the faint hearted. Just being prepared for this moment where I am now. Kind of sounds like almost biblical in a way. Things truly do happen for a reason. You know, things could get worse. Hence overcoming every obstacle that comes my way. Many ways I say that people said, doctor said, said I wouldn't be able to walk again. And I, I, I bash that, I bash that boundaries. And I proved them wrong. As a quadriplegic, it, it should be impossible to walk again. I knew who I was, so if you know who you are as a person, then you should be confident naturally, surely, I think, in, in my opinion, because that's the way I feel. I mean, I know I am, I don't need to prove myself, I don't need to try and be someone else or, or, or look like someone else more. And it starts with the mind. Steer away from any negativity, any negative thoughts, and that comes from what you watch, what you listen to, and um, the people around you. Keep it positive at all times. At all times, at all times, at all times. I, I try my best to keep negativity away from me. I'm blessed to be just where I alive, you know? So, and I'm, I'm, I'm happy, I'm in love. I mean, I'm, I mean, I'm married to a beautiful woman. So I think I got things right. Every single person has a story, not only myself. I think my story, that's just my story. I mean, you've got a story, we've all got a story, everyone's got a story. If everyone just shares it, you know, we'll all be inspired by one another. Don't live from the past, don't live about the future too much, just live about the present, live right now.